Alrighty then, it says that I am live. Let me put in my my headset. Stream health receiving content. It's my first time streaming on YouTube. You are live. The internet I can totally see you now to stop use the encoder. Hey Liam, hey Shofioni. First time on YouTube. I've never tried it before. The reason I'm doing YouTube right now and not Twitch is because Twitch is just having so many issues at the moment. Don't know what's really wrong with it. And I'm gonna quickly play back the thing. Just give me a few seconds to adjust to this. Just listening back to my own voice, making sure it's not lagging or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think it's I think it's fine. That's cool. That's awesome. All right. Hey, Emerald, how is it going? It's going wonderful. Um, actually, I didn't say what I'm going to be doing yet. I'm like, what does it say? Does it just say unknown Emerald live stream or does it just say something else? Playing Halo 5. Uh, maybe a bit of Social Slayer, something like that. Social Slayer Infection. Playing Halo 5 Social with viewers there we go and is there a save button for that can i accept this youtube thing is completely new to me <laughs> press enter if i press enter does it do anything no <laughs> hmm i'll get around to it eventually all right anyway let's go to social i always like to start off just one game of infection by myself so i get all the rust out of my hands because I do get very very rusty very quickly <laughs> after not playing Infection for a while. Also I was actually going to stream my uh, Forge Infection map but I have not made as much progress on it as I wish I could. Um, I'm basically working on paper right now. Also another thing, let me see if I can do it with the face cam. I'm gonna enable the face cam real quick and I'm just gonna see if it allows me to do it with it. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I think it's working. I think it's in. Let me fix my hair before you guys see this horrible atrocity that I am currently. Okay, that's perfect. That's my um, after shower hair. It's, it's lovely. There you go. And how's the quality? How's my voice? Is anything lagging or anything like that? Please tell me, because I need to know. <laughs> Doesn't say that it's lagging for me, but if it is for anyone else, then I need to have that adjusted as fast as I can. Oh yeah, another thing, I'm going to turn my notifications off. <laughs> I always forget to do that. And I'm going to start my own party so I can't hear anyone in game chat. And if any of you want to join me, just send me a message with INV. I -N -N -V, I think we got malignant. And I would invite you right after this game. I really like malignant, one of my favorite maps actually in the infection playlist. I think it's malignant for me. I do like Hellfire is good. I think it would have been better without the Prophet's Bane and the Carbine. <laughs> if the Carbine was replaced with like a fancy, I don't know, maybe like the third wreck Hydra launcher, the one that automatically locks onto you without you having to zoom in. Maybe something like that would have been very nice. But the Carbine and DMR and having them respawn every 30 seconds, I'm sorry, but that's just oh, so horrible. <laughs> gonna be seeing me drinking a lot of water as well that's another thing because I get thirsty very quick and I have a nice bowl of cereal as well gonna be munching that every once in a while because cereal is healthy much better than eating energy bars and stuff like that and drinking energy drinks all right let's go I'm infected also, I'm not playing any music right now. I think it might have been something to do with the music was the reason why my stream was lagging in the previous games. Because I never realized it myself until someone like really pointed it out. I was doing some experiments, like doing a very quick uh, stream just by myself. Ooh. Damn it, they know! Good grenade. Went up the stairs. <laughs> But yeah, I might play a few games of Infection, then I might do some Forge later. And this guy is just looking into the sky. <laughs> Maybe something interesting up there.
just looking for someone to be able to see you. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know, I might try to play music. I might try to play music. After a while. But that would mean I need to reset my stream a little bit. Which I kind of don't want to do. Survivors have been eliminated. Let me increase my volume a little bit so I can hear myself. Not myself, the TV. <laughs> Pretty sure the zombies just crouching around a corner. Or maybe not. Oh, he was. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Both dead. I'll take all your ammo. The precious ammo. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, people are trying to go for the C. The C on the Malignant is so annoying to get. The jumps are so inconsistent to get up there. Oh yeah, one thing I think I forgot to do was increase my actual um, game audio. There we go. Increased it to 38, which is half of what my volume is. And this guy's trying to... Oh yeah, you can get into that spot. I've... I remember now, because they... they fucked up. They fucked up and they... Are now using the old what do you call it? When they did all the fixes to infection, they basically used the old map files, so you can get back into the older glitch spots, which is really unprofessional. Free for free, very unprofessional. Now I have a friend over here, and now I can't get out until I push him. I need to push him. <laughs> I don't want to be there. I want to run around. Where they at though? Where they, where they at though? Hop. Ow. Stole that kill. There's so many people infected and I can't see a single one. What is going on? Trying to run into the zombie spawns so I can break the spawns a little bit and make them spawn. Wait, you didn't die from that! Please die. That was so many shots pulled into you. And there's my dog barking, of course. My lovely mother has let him out in a garden. Just something I try to not to do with the dog. Because <laughs> he ends up bark. Uh oh, this is bad. Maybe not so bad as I thought it would be. Oh, it's just me and this guy. Okay. Let us split up and hopefully they'll kill him and not kill me. Don't go to me. Don't go to me. Don't go to me. <gasps> oh, okay, he saved my life. Maybe I should be a little bit more thankful for having a teammate. I can't clamber that. Uh-oh. I may have messed up. Nope, nope. Keep on running. No, there was another one behind me. Damn it. I try. I try really hard. Oh, that's a weird spawn. Anyone went for the sword? They sure have. Oh, that guy just went ham. Once again, thank you so much for the ammo. Oh, 13 shotgun shells that are spare. Loving it. <laughs> That was risky, but I had to do it. I had to do it again! <laughs> then turn around and ground pound, there's no wonder. Kill that cobra over DMR. Okay, that was stupid. I should not have done that the first time. That's why I get. One more hit on him, and he's down. The survivors have lost. Round four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, a DMR. I'll take it. I never get a DMR on this map, never spawn anywhere near it. Can't jump out of the way. Oh, okay, I missed. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Hope you guys haven't seen anything. This guy behind me. Whew. This guy's in the, in the right spot. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Hey, yo, last man. Let's see what I can do. Clo oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah. <laughs> is Mercy playing? Let's see. See if he sent me a message. Want some peoples? Cryptic Krungy. I don't think Mercy is online. If he is online, I'm sure he's on Destiny too. Or Overwatch. Playing Overwatch, Destiny. Destiny. Oh, Mercy. <laughs> when I joined it, too, grew to four viewers. Yeah, this is more of an experimental stream, to be honest, because I never streamed on uh, YouTube before. I always streamed on Twitch in my past streams. Um, hey, Howard. Shane Howard. Lewis Phillips. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how the streaming on YouTube works yet. I know exactly how it works on Elgato, but the reason I'm not streaming on Elgato right now is because it is... I wouldn't say broken, like on, when I stream offline, when I'm not live streaming, it works perfectly fine. But the second I press live stream, it just starts cutting out my voice. Like I start going like, eh, oh, eh, like this, and it's just... Ugh. Can I play Super Fiesta? Yes, that's okay. If any of you want to join me... Uh, just send me a message with INV and I will invite you right after the game I play. Ah, that's not how I reply. I love game messages like these. <laughs> also, what's the title of this stream? Because I can't see. It's stupid that I can't see. <laughs> I can create a highlight. What are these options over here? What is this? Playing Halo 5 social with viewers is what it should be saying. Should be saying that I'm currently streaming Halo 5. Oh no, oh we got Nerf Center. Okay, that's Super Fiesta Slayer, but I thought we're playing Infection still, so I thought, oh no, I'm gonna be backing out. But no, we got Plaza, which is good. <laughs> So, no, this streaming thing is so weird. I can't get around it. <laughs> Add description. Uh, how do I do the description? Halo 5 with viewers playing a variety of and Infection, Superior Vista, etc. Initiating Slayer. I am and I'm not sure if that's saved or not. <laughs> but yeah, I love Super Fiesta. That's like the one thing I play other than Infection, Super Fiesta Slayer. Because I like getting cool weapons, I never get to use in Warzone because I always die in Warzone. Oh yeah, and there's this jump over here that you can never really utilize on uh, what you call the infection because it doesn't allow you to go there. That's horrible. Oh, no! Oh, good shot. <laughs> he saw me. Oh, plasma caster. Whenever I get the swords on my secondary, I just like hope so much that that's the, what you call it, the, the answer, and I never get the answer. Very rarely. Oh, sensitive beam. That might be an interesting weapon. I'm basically, okay, so I'm making a infection map right now. And I might do some forging later, depending how I, uh, how many people are watching. If there's like no one watching, I might just, oh, God damn it! <laughs> I might just do some forge. 
or something if anyone wants to see me forge my new infection map. Come on. Oh no! I forgot this is not infection, that it takes a lot more shots to kill. Damn it! <laughs> Beer. Oh yeah, if any of you ever decide to make an infection map, never put a BR on it. Like, ever, ever. <laughs> the MRs are bad enough. I'm sure most of you have seen the... Or some of you must, must have seen the... Did I really just pick up the answer off the ground? Someone had the answer in their goddamn hand. How do you die with the answer? Well, I guess if there's more than one person on you at a time. It's pretty easy to die with it. Oh, got me up to lift, aren't you? Come on. Come on. There we go. Wait, he didn't have the answer in his hand. I think he had the normal saw. <laughs> Would have been pretty funny if two answers spawned on the map. Wow, he survived that. Hammer! Oh no, oh no, oh no, suppressor. He got me. <laughs> Please let free, free take down the few rod cannons. Pace of fire. Is that a good weapon or a bad weapon? I never really used it. Got a normal. Oh! Oh yes, the answer in his hand, I had a normal sword. Oh, okay, he died. I can never out-damage anyone who's using a power weapon. <laughs> power weapons are so good on Fiesta. Ah! Okay, okay. I got a butter fingers apparently. <laughs> what are you doing? Just running in a circle, mate, confusing me. Let's just reload that. There's a guy behind me. I know very well there's a guy behind me. I saw him on my radar. I am not a fool, my friend. I am. I am a fool because I was reloading. God damn it, he rushed me. <laughs> Who's the fool now? I feel stupid. I'll grab a sword. Probably the worst idea I ever had. Should probably wait for my shoes though. Damn it. <laughs> to recharge. If you use the stronger fuel rod can with pace of fire, say your goodbyes. Enemy wind condition fifty percent fulfilled. Is that the fast shooting one? I'm assuming it is. God damn it! Shit! So many people here. So many. Yes! Sir! Oh! Oh! Get wrecked! Get absolutely demolished! Where is your goddamn weapon? Where is it? Uh, what was it? There. There we go. There it is. No! Damn it! Oh, I had it. I could have just crouched. I could have like let all my uh, troubles go to another side of the world, but yeah, I fucked up. Maybe it's still on the ground. I highly doubt it now. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? We are getting demolished over there. Jesus, it's the Red Team massacre. Oh god damn it, yeah. The Prophet's Bane. Prophet's Bane is god down OP. Oh no! Come on. Ah. <laughs> Got them catchy cells. Ah! If you ever want to hear a manly scream, you should definitely watch this stream. Uh oh. No. Ah! Come on, die! Die already, please! This is such a stupid little battle, an assault rifle versus a scatter shot. <laughs> oh my god. This guy still has the profits. Nah. Ugh, I, need a, I need a better weapon. I need a weapon, guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
Oh, which one? Oh, we got an. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't ask for that though. Oh, he's got. Yeah. Damn, I need to get those weapons back. At least. They oh, no. Now he's got the Prophet's Bane and that. Come on. Oh, my God. Why do they allow Prophet's Bane into freaking matchmaking? Damn it. <laughs> I feel like that's the one weapon that should just not be allowed. It's such a cheap weapon. Like, it's a guaranteed 10 kills if you get it off the bat and no one sees you at the first time you get it. Alright, and the gold, like an invite. Let's get him in. And beast your boss once one, two. If anyone else wants to join me during the stream, feel free. I'll play a few more games. I'll switch between Infection and uh, Fini Majigi. Super Fiesta. And like one hour into the stream, I might just go on to Forge. Show you guys the tiny bit of progress that I've done on my map. Like, I'm working on paper right now as well. I've got the map kind of laid out. Half of it laid out on paper. And I'm really not sure what was going to work with Halo 5 either. Because I made the map back on Halo Reach. I already made it once on Halo 5. I mean on Halo 4, sorry. And I'm not sure whether it's going to work with the mechanics of Halo 5 with clambering and stuff. I would definitely try my best. I'm like looking at it. I'm looking at it because it's right here. That's on paper. <laughs> mm. I also had a very fun lobby today with pretty much every single infection tryhard. <laughs> I was playing with a bunch of people. Just testing out someone's map. Getting footage for it. Speaking of footage, I actually have a video which I'm hopefully going to release next week. An actual map feature that I have. I've not featured a single map in such a long time because there's just been nothing. Nothing at all that I wish to feature until now. There's also another map. A remake of one of the Halo 3 maps that I never saw being remade before, which I'm going to feature too. Not gonna spoil what it is just yet. And I also want to make a map for the 1v1 contest currently being hosted by Forge Hub. It's another thing. Because there is a price money involved, so that would be nice. <laughs> Put myself into that a little bit. Not necessarily to win, but just to contribute. That'd be fun. But 1v1, man, I, I hate 1v1s. <laughs> 1v1 maps. It's just so boring. It's so much fun to play customs with several people, but the second you have, like, two people on a map, like, blech. Blech, it's boring. So boring. Survival protocol training engaged. A challenge next round, no shotgun. Alright. I can do that. I actually have a very cool idea for a challenge. I want to do a challenge where I... Okay, so it's, got, it's called the Darwin Challenge. Where I can only use one weapon once. Like, let's say the, I get a kill with an assault rifle. I'm no longer able to use the assault rifle for the duration of the game. If I get killed with a shotgun, I need to get a different weapon. Or melee. If I get a melee, I can't melee anyone else. I can do a ground pound or a shoulder charge. Because they are technically no melee. They're two different things. Reasons why I don't team with people. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I don't mind being teabagged around. Alright, assault rifle only. I try my best. Usually trying my best is never enough. Especially if you force me to use an assault rifle weapon that's just... Not meant to be used around corners, especially. During the next intermission, I'm going to try to play some music as well. <gasps> oh, scared me. Power installation is the best map. <laughs> Preacher. I haven't seen you in a while. Some people were talking. I was playing a, the custom game I was playing in today. The people were saying how they want to make their own version of what you call the boarding pass. 
make it better. Apparently, boarding pass is much worse than power installation. A lot of people say like people can live with power installation, but apparently, boarding pass is what triggers them. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah, and people absolutely hate Storm's End Preacher, by the way. Like, all the infection people. <laughs> I have nothing against Storm's End as well. Like, I was surprised when they said that. I thought it was one of the decenter maps. But apparently it's very boring for them. <laughs> also, Studio sucks. Studio's horrible. I wish I could have done a lot of changes to it. I replaced the Sea Beast with the normal Magnum. A lot of different things I would have done. Ugh. Yeah, it's one of those dead rounds, isn't it? Uh oh, oh, got saved. Flat kitten, got saved by flat kitten. But yeah, tomorrow I'm probably gonna be trying to do this challenge, the Darwin challenge. It's like I'd have to pick up weapons constantly, like different weapons. I'd have to get lucky of a map that has just a shitload of different weaponry. One that has a hydro launcher, then pick up a sniper rifle, then pick up someone's uh, shotgun or something like that. Okay, a C pistol, a normal pistol, a DMI, a lot of things. Like, that was my second kill, come on. They killed one person. This entire round. Killed one goddamn person. And they're all running away the opposite direction of where I'm shooting them. That was really boring. <laughs> if I'm infected though, I have to use my sword. I can't use an assault rifle when I'm infected, so... I'll be excused from. Wait, did you say assault rifle only or shotgun? Just no shotgun. Just no shotgun, okay. <laughs> I can't clamber that. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Oh, hello. Damn it. You walked away from me. Never walk away from me. I can't clamber anything on this map. I hate it. I have to go around. Oh yeah, I should go for the tactical next. That thing just scared me. I thought it was a zombie. <laughs> that little green color. Uh, that's funny. Uh oh, this. Okay, I'm still not dead. I have not used a shotgun yet. Also, my big apologies for the dog barking in the background. There's very little I can do about him. Don't want to put him down just yet. <laughs> so dark. And I have no ammo. Alright, I need to find a dead man. Hello. Hmm. Uh, there's very little I can do over here. Unless I become the last man standing. Assault rifle only, let's go! <laughs> uh, can't expect anything from that. If I had a shotgun in my hand, yeah, but uh, assault rifle only. I mean, I'm still winning. Let's go there for the tactical. <gasps> no! If I had a shotgun in my hand, I could have easily predicted there was a zombie, but since I didn't have it in my hand in the first place, I didn't even think about checking the corner in the first time. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Like, when you don't have a shotgun in your hand, like, you don't really think about looking around the corner, like, at all. Let's not get involved with that guy. Hello. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is bad. Nope. Stabilizing. Never helps. Sad times ahead. Sorry, sorry, cryptic. Now there's a guy over here. Hello. Okay, he got away. <laughs> I'm not gonna go up, chase him, because you will kill me pretty easily. Did I just... No, no! Oh, I got him! Barely. So sorry, Ender. If you go on boarding pass and you have the Hydra, you should go to the first train and camp it. Whoever cones and fly at them with the Hydra. I hate using the Hydra. Like, I know what you mean. Like, the splash damage would be able to kill every single zombie that's approaching me, but it never works, it literally never works. The amount of times I tried to do that trick. Back on power installation before it got updated, it was actually pretty easy to do that. There were so many different like one entrance rooms 
little corridors that you could just... Oh, oh, I'm an alpha, and we're already 15 seconds into the game. No. I love rushing on this map. Shit, I missed. Damn it, no! Ah, so close. So good, damn close. Oh, that was a fail. Gotta be so cool if I managed to pull that off, but... Damn it. <laughs> Some of the people in this lobby are really lagging. Horribly. Because I failed to jump up, <laughs> I managed to kill Endo. It's funny. There's definitely a person up there. I lied. That's a double. And that's a triple. Oh, grenade! Double hit. Go, go first. Was that technically me winning the thing? Like, without the assault rifle? Not really, because I used the sword, but um, who cares? <laughs> This will probably get lost in all these comments, but sometimes I save the last hush because just to send it to the manufacturer of the notes saying this one survived. Nice one, creature. <laughs> and if anyone else wants to join me, pop me, you want to join the party? No, I already bossed them, sorry. There's no party today because of the stream. Mm -hmm. Cheers. The same. Like I have the exact same way of replying to everyone because I'm so unoriginal with making up replies. <laughs> One some people's. Where's Mercy when I need him? Still playing Overwatch. Overwatch is really fun. How did America get so big because of Big Max? Who was that person that kept doing the stupid pants, pants, pants? You know, pants. <laughs> My pronunciation skills are on par. Mighty Spark, there he is. There he was. It's the person that kept doing this weird pun things. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to enable music real quick as well. That's another thing I wanted to do. Alright, there will be no music. Because <laughs> apparently the second I tried to put music on, it just went blah, blah, blah. Basically destroyed my stream. <laughs> So dumb. That's why I love my capture. I absolutely love it. Uh oh. Damn, oh, grenade. <laughs> but yeah, no music. Made, me, made it very clear to me. <laughs> oh, you died. The second I enabled sound capture, my stream just went. Nope. I pretty much got a slap in the face while I got. He has a pistol. He had a pistol. Like, does it still say I'm live? I hope it does. Hello. But yeah, I think what I have to do is enable the music before. Fuck, that's horrible. Before I actually start streaming. Right after this, I want to do some forging. I want to do forge mode. I don't want to get a headache just yet. <laughs> Gotta be playing so many customs today. With so many tryhards. <laughs> Plus, I did the map feature thing, I edit edited a video. It's a goddamn dog. Like, it's my sister's dog, and she's moving out of the house soon, so hopefully, that dog will never be heard ever again. Like, I love the dog when he's cute, but when he's not, when he's doing this, he's gonna strangle the goddamn thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Is this a dead round? I think it's a dead round. We already have three people that left. Hmm. That's annoying. I don't think there's much point in staying in this game. It's just going to be me running around in a circle. Sorry, Ender. I can't be able to stay in there. I'm going to do some infection now. Not infection, <laughs> forge. Halo 5. Playing Halo 5 Forge. Not sure if that even does anything, but build, build a map. Let me build a map. Also, my most dis anticipated thing when, I, when I'll be making this map is, uh, what do you call it? Picking a random weapon that will go on it. Like, you know how Black Friday has the voids there? Like, some maps have the, uh, the arc light. I want to have like a very fun weapon to use on this one as well. Not in the custom game. Not in the custom game. Like if I'm in Forge build, it should only allow me to have the option that I want to do this thing in Forge, right? <laughs> but no, apparently I can go straight into customs on that as well. And hopefully during this Forge session, you guys will see how uh, my head works when I make a map. Like I streamed this um, quite some time ago as well. Like I did a little bit of progress on this map, but haven't done anything on it since. But now I have this thing on paper, so hopefully I'll be able to make quite a bit of progress with it. And like my window's closed, I can't make this dog quiet until I let him in. Alright, we're in. Alright, so ignore this square over here. This square is actually irrelevant. What I really like to do most of the time is spawn in a bunch of objects that I think I'm going to be using on a specific map. So I can just like select and duplicate it and just grab it and move it to wherever the hell I want to move it to. And these I might just replace with a normal window because I used to thinking that it might look a little bit different but not really. <laughs> so just move them like this. So I conserve pieces a little bit. I only plan to hit maybe the 1200 with the blocks alone. And then I have these boats, these plain looking boats, <laughs> which I'm hoping to make a little bit better. But yeah, first things first, when I started making this map, yeah, this is where the humans would spawn. That's my idea. So humans spawn over here and they have quite a few sections to uh, go to. And one very important thing that I want to start doing like right off the bat, is adding some height variations onto various sections of this map. So let's say over here I have one, and then I should have two. So over here, this should be raised by a little bit. And then hopefully the boats will be raised as well, along the side of these things. Not too much, just a tiny bit, so when you walk around, like it gives some kind of like cover for a zombie, I guess you could say. So like if someone can just crouch behind us, like just behind the stairs, gives them a little bit of time to do something else, which is pretty nice. Please tell me infection. Yeah, it's, in it's infection. Well, an infection map. Yeah, <laughs> it's this. It's what's going. It's it's what this is going to be. Uh, okay. Slopes. Let's do some stairs. This one is a 16 by 16. Oh, I'm on a 90 degree snap. Oh, let's change that. No, I hate working with this. And this might be too tall. Yeah, it's too tall. Uh, let's go for the 8 by 16 instead. Just a tiny bit of a little ramp. Just to make this a tiny bit more comfortable. So it'll be something like this. And they'll duplicate it, take it onto the other side. And I'm going to disable the magnet, select both three pieces, and move them to hit this. And this can stay like this just for now. Eventually, I'll, well, I might just do it now real quick. Just do a little bit of that. Z fighting. 
just so like so. So now we have a nice little bridge. It just gives a little bit of a height difference. And then from here, I actually want to have something else, like a little bit of a doorway. So there will be a door leading to like a building. Okay, so there will be that. And I'll change the color of this soon enough. And this section, I want to have a just a thick wall over here. This will have a kill zone or something to prevent people from walking over here. So now we have like a little room. So this will be probably a holdout. I think that would, that would be a very cool holdout because one thing that this map has is all those stream, uh, trees, you know, trees. They'll be used for cover for sightline blockers. Hey, this is already looking lit. <laughs> is it really? Thank you. Even though I haven't added textures to most of the things yet or anything like that. Um, but the big uh, thing about this map is what this like what the biggest thing that's going to stand out on this map is going to be a zip line. There's going to be a huge tower over there, and the zip line is going to be coming down to where I'm standing right now. And I can't wait to start building the zip line. But anyways, let's start building up the next little building over here. So I probably want to use something else than a 16 by 16. I want to use maybe a 32 by 4, something along those lines. Just make sure it's hitting the ground properly. Make sure that these are aligned perfectly because I have OCD and if it's not, I'm going to be triggered and then do a little bit of this. Okay, so now what I can do I can select a primitive, a detailed a 2 by 2 and whatever hits the ground, probably 20 will be more than enough. Is it enough? Let's hope it is. Okay, I think that will be enough. All right. And then do some Z fighting on this just to pull up a little, maybe if I rotate it. That's nah, still not. Just a little bit so this little black thing gets away. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty decent. And then object properties, let's just make it black real quick. There we go. And rather than this, let's duplicate it. So now I have two. And I always use the z fighting thing because it helps uh, make your blocks. Like, as accurate as it can possibly be. And then I'll have another one over here. And this looks pretty nice now. And eventually I'll start like adding uh, all the... What you call, like, the plantations, like, such as the stuff that I have over here. That's, like, that's for later. That's for later stages. Like, I was even annoyed that I already started doing something like this, which is pretty cool. Just, like, a little jump that allows you to jump onto this boat, but... Another thing I'm going to have to do, there's going to be a lot of suicides on this map. There's going to be a lot of people jumping in the water, so I'm going to have as many of these as possible to just to prevent people from dying. Yeah, like so. So there'll be stuff like that happening all the time. But the holdout only has two ways for zombies to come. That's the thing, there's, this map is nowhere near finished, my friend, William. Like, there's going to be this huge section over there as well. There's going to be another that could jump over there, then, yeah. Trust me, this is not the map. This is not the map. No, no, no. <laughs> like, I'm only starting to do the foundations. This is maybe, like, maybe, I don't know, a quarter of the map, I would say. A lot of things are going to be added onto it. Trust me, my friend. Also, this is going to be the only map, other than Hellfire, that has a teleporter. And how do I start this building now? Do I want to have some kind of a ramp? That leads to it, or don't want this to connect to it straight away. Let's try the connection thing right off the bat. And let's use this as the very first block I'll be using for the flooring on it. Do the Z fighting again. Then something like this. And do I want to have. How big is the building? I need to check. Because I have it on paper over here. So I'm just checking. It should be 32, 48. So if this is a 32, I will need another Finimajigi primitives detailed. I will need a 32 by 
a 32 by 2, something like that. There we go. Actually, with this thing, you know what? Uh, or should I do it? Ah, good, damn it, not prefabs. No, no, not prefabs. <laughs> uh, no more prefabs. The annoying thing about the details is like you have to have those like little sections on, which is really really annoying. Me and Inna have been waiting for you to make another map. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Like <laughs> such a long time. Actually, my next map was going to be a mini game. I was gonna remake my ball run map and make a different uh, platform for it, a different map for it, with the same kind of the same idea in mind. The magnets off again. Bring this all the way here, and there might be like a. I might just add a few railings. Uh, let's see, maybe this one. Maybe this one seems like it's large enough. And have them facing outwards, like so. Just closest to the edge as it can be. So it'll be something like this, and now there's a railing over here. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just to hopefully prevent people from committing suicide. As much as I can, I'll have a ton of railings. Because <laughs> even on the balloon, just the balloon alone has so many people that commit suicide by jumping in the water all the time. Also, this... Let's quickly just make it the same color. There we go. I'll change the flooring color as well as later. I can already tell the boat is going to be such a spot for noobs. <laughs> I still want to change the way the boat looks. Like, I like it's a little bit shallow and stuff. Like, it's very tight and it'll be very impossible to hold out and it'll be more of a, what do you call it, less of a holdout, more of a hiding spot. Over here though, this is where the teleporter is going to be, which is going to be very, very interesting. Very interesting. Because you never see teleporters and infection maps, and for very obvious reasons, because it doesn't make any sense. But I'm past the point of where I want this something to make sense. <laughs> and this will be it for the cap. So then there will be a wall over here. So a 32 by 32 by 2. Actually, hmm. I might need to use a different one. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try. Cause I, this building isn't going to be that big though. Wait, I'm just trying to see if I can use something else that ha that is literally the exact same size as this. Which yeah, yeah, this is okay. Sayonara. <laughs> I didn't even know that a block like this exists of that particular size. Exactly what I needed. And increase the. There we go. And now just very quickly once again. Make it marble. Like so. And do this. There we go. I love it. And increase it in height just to prevent that. So now it looks pretty. So over here I want to have a door of some sorts. A door that you can see go through here. Maybe like a door over here that you can't go through, but a door over here that you can. So you know how a double door looks. Just have one door that is kind of like a block, maybe maybe like a shelf or something. I have quite a few prefabs to be honest, and it might make sense to put them in there. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Tent, trench, wouldn't be a trench, a backhoe. <laughs> Debris cover, detailed inset monitors, complex control setup, tech terminal, vehicle, facade, empty mount cap. Is this it? And not enough physical space. I'll give you physical space. I hate it. I hate it that like you spawned in like at... it doesn't tell you. a filing cabinet. There we go. Yeah, and these things look so amazing, so so amazing. So maybe use one of these as like as if like they, they have dropped on the ground. If that makes sense. So it drops on the ground and it's like just shoved over here. So there will be a door over here and it's kind of like blocked by a filing cabinet. Because I do want to have like offices on this map as well. In the most moon, hey yo. 
bro, you know. Hey, you know, you're finally, <laughs> he's doing it. Where have you been? Needed a new map. And I, I've been inspired. Well, not so much. Like, this map has been in creation for the longest time. Ever since Halo 5 came out, I wanted to make this map, but I just could not really bother. <laughs> I had so many other ideas. I wanted to remake my maps from Halo 4. Uh, how do I make a door now? How do I usually make a door? That's the one thing I forgot. It was something... It was not structures. It was an accent, maybe. So many goddamn pieces. Like, when this game came out, it was like 1,600 different pieces. So it was panels. Was it panels that I used? That's doors. Not already. I I'll spawn a panel. I'll just leave it here. Maybe I'll use it. <laughs> and... Yeah, let's, let's just do this. Let's just do this. In case I ever need them. And just shove them over here. There we go. So it wasn't a panel. Was it a door? Oh, you, can, you actually have actual doors. Okay, that's another thing. But it doesn't really look like a door. And then you have something like this. It's more of a, for a garage. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't know we had these. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, that is tiny. Wait, that's so tiny. Is that like a bigger one? That's a... No. Frame. Oh, hello! Look what we found. We've got a double door, but still not too... This is going to trigger me really hard. That it's like, not big enough. And just because I hate the top of it. Rotate Alexa. What else do we have? Yeah, nah, never use these. <laughs> And then these ugly pieces. What is this? Who would use this on a map? It looks so ugly. <laughs> it's like a Halo 4 object. But there'll be a filing cabinet over there. This might... Mm, if this doll was a little bit thicker... It's not It's not going to work out. Uh, four on animated doors, but they're not doors. Panels, not but they're not panels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I remember these. I was using trims for something before, but they're, like, not the ones I was thinking of. Walls. Shutter. Oh, there's so many different cabling as well. Like, I'm not sure if you guys knew about this, but look at this. We have so many of, the, like, those cabling things. Like, electronics. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. Already looking good. <laughs> and then you need a new NES spot. Oh, there's going to be so many. On this map. So, so many. Shoot. A shoot. Uh, what else? Floor. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely keeping one of these. I'm gonna shove it over here. If you guys don't know, this is what people used to. This is a coffee machine. This is like literally a coffee machine. It's not intended as one, but what else does it look like? It looks exactly like a coffee machine. You put a cup over here, you pour it in, and you get some coffee. I leave one of those in there. Yeah, and then again, we have a coffee machine number two. It's like a smaller one. <laughs> That's the funny thing. They are not intended as coffee machines. Just looking for the objects. Trying to see if there's like anything I can use. Because on Studio 17, I had something. I had something that I used. And it's definitely in one of these things. It's definitely not a ceiling. It's way too big. Panels, trims... I can't remember where it was. Glass railings, various ports, destructible vents, pipes, platforms, bridges, slopes, floors. I was definitely an accent. One of you. It's one of you. Maybe if I like showed you the the outline of the object you're trying to use, that would have been nice. Like I literally have to go go through all of them because otherwise I'm never gonna find it. One by one. Okay, those are too big. Definitely not their trims. And I wish I knew what the object was actually called as well. If I knew what it was called, this would not be so that difficult. <laughs> and a lot of them are repeating themselves. I feel like I'm just going to go onto my forge map and see exactly what it is. But anyways. Uh, Sup, Emerald. I'm Sniper. Hey, yo. And now we need to make a map. <laughs> Now, when you get done, get hit in reach to find some hiding glitch spots and patch whatever they feel. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think my map and a boarding pass are the, are the only two maps in the infection players that had not a single glitch spot. And I'm really proud of that. 
What is animated? Oh, those things. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we have pistons as well. That's cool. But yeah, I might have to use these doors then. But then there's a big door. Huge ass doors. And then destructive ones. Hmm. I definitely want to use one of these eventually. I shove them in there, into here. Just have like a little platform with all the things I want to use, like a little kid. All right. Anyways, uh, let's ignore this for now. Okay. Let's let's pretend that this is the door that I'm gonna use. Okay. And then I want to have a staircase. It's basically going to be a staircase leading up over here. I don't want to spend too much time trying to find the door. I'll find it eventually in my own time. Next thing is in strobes, ramps, not ramps, stairs. I want to use a 16 by 16. Actually, no, I want to have a wall over here, so they would have to be a little bit further away from the side. And then I'm going to have another one. It's going to be like a little stair that goes up over here. And then this, this is a 92 by 32 by 2. So now we're going to have to do some experimentation again. Primitive, so it has to be a 92 by 32. And I want to have a fat one, so... Actually, it needs to go, need to go a little bit fatter. I think this is fat enough. So essentially, I wanted something just to touch the side of this. Go over here, make sure I'm not going over this too much. There we go, that's perfect. Which means this is not perfect. Now it is. There we go. So there's going to be like an entrance over here. Hmm, maybe there's going to be something else. I'm not sure. Because I really want people to be able to overlook this area. And then there's going to be, of course, this is going to be broken into... Can I do something else? Wait. Wait, I might be a genius. If I am a genius or this is not going to work, we'll see. I am not a genius, never mind. <laughs> I thought this might work, god damn it. Actually. No, this is not half bad actually. If I just rotate this around. Now change the color of this later. Yeah, this this might be good. How does this look? For a double door. Definitely not bad, and this makes a lot more sense now too. Awesome. Keeping it looking like this then. And then I need a Something that is a 16 by 16. Maybe 6? No, definitely can't be by 16. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is really annoying. This is really annoying. I might not be able... I need to use a simple one then. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto. And boop. And boop. There we go. So now we have something along these lines. Something's not adding up over here. What's not adding up? Why are you not adding up? Oh, because this is actually going inwards a little bit, which is a tiny bit. It doesn't matter. I'll fix that later. And let's change the properties of you into marble. There we go. And let's start placing some simple walls on here. A lot of the things I'm going to be placing down are just like, uh, what do you call it, uh, place blockers. What do you call them? Placeholders. There we go. Place blockers. You know, placeholders. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, 32. Uh, this building is going to be pretty darn tall. Because this building, as it is, is going to be like a sightline blocker as well. It's going to be a huge sightline blocker. Oh, it's going to be annoying. I'm going to bring you all the way to the end, and then you're not going to match. But that's okay. Oh, I can just do this, I guess. Actually, hmm. Give me a sec, guys. I might I might have done. I might have outdone myself in thinking just now. <laughs> uh, let's bring one of you over here. Because this is a very tall block. Let's remove you for now. Let's replace you with you. Make sure you're aligned, which you are. Rotate you, because you're annoying. How far up can we go? Let's quickly look as well. 
There we go, that's as far as we can go. Can't reach the sky, but that's alright. Oh yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted this to be more outwards, like so. There we go. Perfect. So now we actually have some depth for the piece as well. Awesome. And we might put a window over here at one point, but we'll leave that for later. And now we can use maybe a 2x2. Two two. Let's try 2x2. Two two. Where did I have the last 2x2 two two that I used? I don't remember. Let's just spawn one. Make my life a little bit easier. Actually, it needs to be a little bit taller. There we go. Shove one of you into the middle. There we go. Hmm, actually. <laughs> Once again, there's going to be another, actually. Maybe up for a little bit. Like that. Oh, this is really annoying. So this piece is not... It's not a 2x24x24. By 24 by 24. This thing is actually more like a 1.8. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. And there's not a single piece that's like a has like a one thickness. Hmm. Fucking professional. Right there on non studio. What the fuck, Sorcery? Alright, now I need to make 10 more maps. <laughs> What's up, Robin? Hello, Dylan. Hey, yo. <laughs> right, this is annoying, but um, eh, we'll, we'll play with it. Well, if I just make it black. Wait, is this not black? What color is this? Secondary tertiary, what colors do I have for them? Hmm. Once again, I'll figure it out in the future, in the near future. But tertiary is just black. What? What is going on over here? I can't change. Oh, this works. What did I do? What did I do just now? Covenant. Apparently, making it into a covenant thing hmm. blends in. All right. I mean, it's fine. I'll take it. Oh yeah, another thing I'm going to have over here, just to uh, be the most biggest simpleton that I can possibly be. I'm going to have some windows. And then copy them like so, bring them onto the other side, just like that. And this is pretty tall. And I can just do a simple thing. Like that. And since this is Z fighting, move it back. And voila. And then I can just like shove a big block at the top just for the roof. I might change this though. I don't like how little space there is over here. Very little space, very claustrophobic, but we'll see how it goes. And then I wanna have uh like a little I can have a little thing over here. Yeah. I'm gonna have a primitive, a 2 by 32 by 32 Just another little bridge that I'll put onto this side right here. And bring it up. There we go. So now it's like a little bridge. Oh yeah, this, this needs to be blocked off a little bit better. Uh, let's get some glass pieces. Uh, where was glass? It was floor slopes. Primitives? No, it was over here, wasn't it? Floors. And walls. Corners, windows. But that's a normal window. There's still windows. There was like a normal glass piece I could have used, I remember. There was just glass. Oh, there he is. There. <laughs> Clear. There you go. That's all I want it. Oh, but glass is annoying as well, wait, hmm. Yeah, this is, this is not gonna work out. Hmm. Yeah, I might just have to use rubble then. Like, try to improvise a little bit. But yeah, I definitely want this to be blocked off, one way or another. Hmm, can I use anything over here? I definitely want to bring one of these shelves across. Oh, you're unfixed. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Put you unfazed. Reset your coordinates. There we go. <laughs> Might put like one of these around as well. 
So I have one of these and then one of these, so it makes a little bit more sense. So maybe now I don't need a window. Bring it a little bit more like that, yeah. So now you can't, like, there's a sheet. When you look at this, there's no way for you to think that, yeah, I can definitely go through that door and there. Uh, I can't fit through. <laughs> and this needs to be adjusted as well. But let's just do that quick. I will do uh, slopes. This what this time around a simple slope. And this is too small. <laughs> I need a 16 by 16 by 16, I believe. There we go. And then just duplicate this across like that. And Z fighting, let's fix you. Don't think I can use a bigger PC, but I might have to do two pieces. But uh, I'm really not sure. Yeah, because this is going to go out of the other way. And otherwise, this is going to go outwards like that. So yeah, it has to be like this for now. Just for now. And just because it's annoying, let's quickly put a wall over here too. And bring you all the way down, just because I can. Because it looks pretty. Ayo! Very pretty. Alright, and I knew, I knew this was going to happen. And all I have to do now is just take, grab all of these, all of these. And just move them. And like that. There we go. And this is going to be a little bit annoying, but hmm, who cares? <laughs> I do. God damn it. This is really annoying. <laughs> Uh, I'll figure it out eventually. Got to go. Bye. Keep up the good work. See you, Lima. Bye bye. Are you going to play on this map afterwards? Of course I am. I mean, I'm not going gonna make a map just not to play on it later. <laughs> of course I'm going to play on it, my friend. I'm not gonna finish it today, of course, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> and I'm gonna shove a rooftop onto the top. Just for now. And this might need to be a little bit higher for the infected. And this tree. Tree, why? Why you gotta be like this tree? Why can't we get along? Oh, and this needs to be shoved in a little bit as well. There we go. Perfect. And this bigger block over here just needs to be pulled to the side a teeny bit. There you go. And this is very easily fixable. This little annoying thing that he, he, he detailed a 96 by 2. Apparently the 24 is the only one I can use, but that's alright. Basically all I want to do is just do a little bit of this. There we go. So now the building has a little bit more detail on it. And I'm on top, I'm on top of the boat. Uh, so there is now going to be a building over here. Mm, should I allow people to go through here? I'm not sure. Probably not. Probably not. I want people to be going through. I don't want people to worry about this. This is too close. Maybe up there. Hmm, who knows? I'll see. But there's going to be another route going over there. And then I want to have a very flat floor. So now I want to have the exact same thing, the exact same doorway on this side. So all I need to do is just grab, grab, and grab, and duplicate you. And I'm going to have a door like that. Wait, is this too tall? Is this how it is? No, this can't be right. Yeah, I'll just leave it like this for now. So yeah, it's going to be a doorway. So now you can very clearly see what's down there. But this time around, I'll be giving people the access to use both doors. Down here, on the other hand, let's go the simple way. Something that I pretty much have to use on this map. It's going to be a lot of it. Our crates. Crates, there we go. The way all the way at the top. Uh, I'll probably use this one as well. 
and they're on fixed, which is nice. Actually, no, they're on normal right now. Uh, let's make you fixed. I need to go back to crates now, goddammit. And I'll cover crates. So there'll be two of these. It's always nice to have different kinds as well. Not just like one type of crate. Having several. You need to have several. Stasis. I don't like that one. Yeah. This one, we'll see. We'll see what I want to use this one. Hey yo, hi, hi Pastilla. Eagle Precursor. I found the most retarded glitch in Freak Show. Absolutely insane. You've just found the glitch in Freak Show. <laughs> Funny thing Eagle, uh, is Eagle, I literally came on Halo 5 today, like, it was 2pm, I thought I'm gonna chill out right before we go with triple just to, like, get back into infection. First game I match you, first game I play I match you, and then everyone leaves, and there's like six people, and I'm like, I'm probably gonna leave, I play again, and I match you again, and I'm like, fuck's sake, <laughs> it's so annoying. And it's like, I always want to avoid tryhards, but there's no way... To do it, like literally, no way. Okay, back on track though. Uh, I want to have a wall over here too. Actually, getting getting a bigger wall might be nice. Not this one. This one over here. I guess I can leave this open. There's dogs getting on my last nerves. Jesus. There we go. And this doesn't matter too much. Bring it up a little bit like that. There we go. So now you go over here. And then there's all of those crates. That there might be something in the back over there. But we'll never know because all those crates are going to be blocking the path. I hope. Maybe I can just shove a couple on the back. Hmm, that's getting a little bit repetitive all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So then you run over here, then you go up here. Yeah, this is not gonna stay the way it is. Like, don't don't worry about it. Oh, let's go back. Just like, rotate you a tiny bit. Ah, ah, wrong, wrong thing. I grabbed the wrong thing. Ah, no, me gusta. No, go back. Go back. Go back. There we go. Scary, man. Scary when that happens to your map. <laughs> I can just remove this for now. I can grab another one of you. Hmm. I could potentially... I love the word potentially. Detailed. Use a 2 by 16 by 32 Just something to bring this wall forward a little bit. I don't want people to think of this as a holdout or anything like that. It's the last thing I want people to do. Yeah, you're on fix, so I can just bring you forward. Bring all of you forward. Because I want this wall to be... Forth like that. There you go. Make sure you're not glitching through the sides or anything like that. I don't think you are. Nice. There we go. I just want this to be like a tiny little under section. No more than that. Ooh, how did this happen? Jesus. I need to put them on fix as soon as I can. Before I forget. Because when the crate is not unfixed, bad things happen. Fucking power installation. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if you're unfixed or unfixed, but... And then... People can hide over here. It's nice to have, like, a few nice little hiding spots for people. Not too many, though. For example, this. I need to get rid of this as well. Don't want people going under the stairs anytime soon. Like that, make sure it's not glitching for the sides or the bottom, they are not. Nice. So then this room is gonna have some crates over there. 
might be able to see is or something or redeem more. But since the human spawn over there and down, that'd be too close. Too, too close. Maybe up there, up here. Maybe one of the two. <laughs> Eggy. <laughs> Eggy uploading. I always like to like sit around and just um, st um, simulate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Ah! Where is this? No! This is very bad. And this is where my genius fades. Because this looks so pretty. And then you have this. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what do I do, guys? What do I do? Uh, this, is, this will be a problem for another day. Okay, so now... Actually... I want this to be right underneath this building. There we go. And make you fix as well. And I don't think you're unfixed either. Nope. There you go. Like, at the moment, I am really not that bothered about conserving pieces or anything like that just yet. Everything is a placeholder. I just want to have uh, the map in my head. <laughs> I reckon I can move you forward a little bit like this. There we go. Not too much of a biggie over there. Can I move you back? Probably as much as I can do. Let's do the same thing with you. Remove the Z fighting. Oh, Z fighting's work. No, no. There we go. Actually, no. There. Love it. Very gently touch this. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is so annoying. I hate those pieces. Like they have this stupid. Like that was my big issue of Halo Four pieces that they had this stupid curves and uh, playing Halo Five. This happens again. <laughs> it's, it's not great. And then I can just just anything. A sixteen toe will be more than enough. Just to patch up this little thing at the top. And don't worry about those black lines, I'll get rid of them soon enough. Alright, that was good enough. And that crate, you know, just shove you to the side. Don't need you here just yet. Hmm. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice. And then have something over here, maybe in the form of filing cabinets. This tree, though, this is so annoying. I need to get rid of this. This triggers me too much. How do I do this? Is this good enough? Nope. Back a little. Ah, this tree man. Okay, that uh, this uh, still a little bit much. I don't want to move it too far though. Still a little bit of this. Maybe that'll be enough. Because the point of this tree is to sit over here and give zombies a little bit of cover in terms of sight lines. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Had to get rid of this tree there. <laughs> and then from up here. What's going to happen from this platform right there? Eventually, it's going to lead up to this tower, and there's going to be like another staircase over here of some sorts, or, or I could go natural. This might be a natural section or something. Like, this has broken down. So much work on this map still. Also, let's save it before something bad happens, and also let's do this. Save map as. 
in case anything bad happens. Something I should have been doing constantly, saving the map over and over again in case Forge breaks. Because it will happen, it will happen, and I will not like realize that it happens. <laughs> I really like how this turned out. I was actually able to use the curve to an advantage for once. Alright, so a human spawns. Every human is going to spawn down here along this little section. They'll be able to see the door straight away. That's not good. I don't mind them going, being able to see over here. As long as we can very easily sh uh, thruster from there and get them. Plus, there'll be the zip line going down. Uh, let's make you fixed, phased even. Back to fixed. Much better. <laughs> and then you can jump like that. There we go. That looks much better now. And of course, once again, crate is just a placeholder. I might use something else for the cover. Oh, and then you can do this. Oh, loving it. I'm loving it. Back on Halo 4, you would not be able to do something like that because there was no clamber. But now you can, boys. Hmm. No railings over here just yet unnecessary, I don't think. One thing that will be necessary though, one thing that I should really be using, start using, cylinders, diameter 8, and oh, let's actually have a rotation snap this time around. Make sure you're in middle. Might have something like this. I don't know. Does this look cool? I look a little section like that. That might look cool. And put them in between each one. Just so when you walk around it looks like there's actually something holding the bridge up. That's not just a floaty bridge. I can put one like another one there. Uh, how how middle-ish is this? This is not so middle-ish. There we go. That still doesn't feel middle-ish. So if I have it there, uh, this one would have to be a little bit more like this, I think. When you walk around, you can see those things that are holding up the bridge. I might use smaller ones and I have like two in the corners, but once again, trying to conserve those pieces. Just a tiny bit. It's not like people are going to care too much what is holding the bridge. <laughs> and then you have these, which is nice. And then I might shove another one over there. Hmm. That's annoying. Because you're fighting. There we go. Bit more you fighting. Get rid of that. It's not really that noticeable. But uh, I guess. Yeah, when you're gonna approach from here, you will definitely see that. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, what is this? This is a two by four by twenty. Let's see if I can get something other than twenty. Yeah, we can get a sixty-four. It's something I wanted to do real quick. Stop rotating the wrong way. There we go. Obey me, block. Just make sure it's nice and there we go. Then remove this. Bring it to the ground. Select the both of you again. And then bring it down. Just so we have a nice patrol going all the way up. Nice railing all the way up. This guy. Adds a bit more depth onto the building. Then duplicate them, so now we have to rotate them around, Up, like so. Bring it all the way across. 
delete this, grab them again, and bring them a little bit higher. There we go. Loving it. Eventually the building is going to be a different color too. Already an hour and a half into the stream. It's pretty nice. Also, I'm looking at my face cam. I look like the most <laughs> depressed person. If I lower it just a teeny bit. How can I lower it? That might be a, might be a tiny bit better. Hmm, I might have to put... Should I put railings at the front of those boats? Or should I maybe change the nose of them? Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. And do I want to have like another access point from here? I kind of want this to be the only way for you to be able to ap approach this plateau. There might be something that leads around so you can like jump down. Like some kind of a pathway that leads. We'll see. Don't have anything like that on my paper just now, <laughs> just yet. But we'll see. Alright, back to this. So now that I have that, the sun's coming from there. Or from there. Wait, wait, where's the sun coming from? It is coming from there. There you go. So, if the sun's coming from there. There's a lot of the map that's going to be blocked off by the shadow. But this building used to be tall. It used to be very, very tall. Hmm. I scratch my back. What are you building? I am building an infection map, my friend. Because I have not built an infection map in a very long time. Studio 17 was the last map that I have built, and that is like, what, a year ago? Like, quite literally a year ago that I built that map. And I've been so taken over by Ark Survivor Evolved that I uh, just not had any motivation to do forging. But now I might actually be able to finish off a map <laughs> again. And there's not going to be anything behind that boat over there, so people are not going to be really paying attention too much. And then I put another railing over here. Got quite a few. What's my object count? Like 275, okay. It shall be capped at 1200, hopefully. Mm. Is free for free doing an infection refresh anytime soon? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. The only reason we had an infection refresh in the first place was because Forge Hub has hosted a contest for infection maps where they just got a ton of different infection maps. Um, submit to the contest and they were able to just use the winners and put their winners into matchmaking it was that simple but now we don't have that anymore we don't have another contest just yet uh, what do I go from here actually you know what no I can't have that I can't have what I'm doing over here this I can keep, this I don't want. There is a too long of a hallway. Way, way too long for my likings. So you go through here. And then maybe... Just something along these lines. Once again, just a placeholder. And have it going off like this. So now instantly there is just something else. Hmm. Might not be might not be thick enough actually. Might have to Might have to go all the way out here. Let's magnetize it. I don't have to magnetize this, but it's okay. There we go. 
So now you just can't shoot all the way across because uh, I could not have had that. So <laughs> that would have been too much of a rip for the zombies. And it's good to address those issues very early on in the development of the map. So now I can actually do that on paper as well. I can see exactly where the mistake could have been and where I have avoided it. So that's pretty cool. So now if a human wants to shoot across, they'll have to jump on top of the boat. This boat might be a good holdout. Hmm. Yeah, this might be... This might need some addressing. Hmm. That's thing on Halo 4, this map worked perfectly fine, but on Halo 5... Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I might need something at the background over there. <gasps> <laughs> oh no, no, not again. Yeah, I might need another little section over here. I definitely need some form of protection for the zombies. I definitely don't want them to spawn over there, and if they just spawn around the other side of the map, or the humans are over there, then the zombies will be forced to spawn over there. I re definitely don't want that to happen. Pull my pants up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so that I definitely need to do that one section. Let me just quickly note that down. Um, maybe not so much a building. Maybe a, maybe a building. I don't know. Maybe another boat. The boats will definitely. Or maybe if I just do a different boat over here. This uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember who made this map. I think it was the. Ooh. God damn, I can't remember the game attack of the person who made it. Grey Wolf? Um, I, don't, I don't know. But someone made a very nice ship. And this might be a ship. Who knows? Who knows? And if that is a ship, then that will mean a lot of people will be uh, exploring the ship more than anything. Or you should be walking around the ship. Because over here, you just like, kind of like, walk over here and you just jump up top. And like, yeah, I'm here now. It's a very small boat. So yeah, definitely having a different kind of map. I mean, a different kind of boat. What's the main theme of this map? A harbour, a city, both. It looks awesome so far. Thank you. It is a dock, my friend. Um, so yeah, a harbour, yeah. That's the most precise description of it. So it's going to be boats. Um, there's going to be sunken boats around. I think the most uh, comparable map to this one might be drill site, but kind of like a combination of drill site and the balloon. That might be more accurate. <laughs> but then you think about it, the balloon's meant to, meant to be like a pirate map. But well, it has like two boats. One that you can jump on and one's a kayak. <laughs> Very tiny boats. Okay, over here, it might be good to have another elevation. Another elevation point. But then again, yeah, that's definitely need like another crate over here. Yeah, that's for sure. Shove you in there. I need you here. <laughs> and there might be other little cover around here as well. Other little bits and bobs. And maybe a little bit forward like that. I definitely don't want people to just set the spawn, but they won't have a pistol. They'll have an AR. I don't want them to be able to just spray down on the. Maybe if there's like a two times cover or something. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that might that might not be bad. Cause I'm, this path over here is essential. Also, there's gonna be this zip line over here. Actually, if I just, I might just stop marking it out right now. I want this zip line to go all the way down over here. It might be at a 15 degree angle. That might be the best thing to do. Something along those lines. I should really use a different piece for it, but. Hmm, this might be too tall. Maybe a different angle approach. That's the big thing on this map is that is going to have that one zip line. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's definitely steep enough for a zip line. That's still pretty darn tall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if uh, well, 
Like I said, this is just me marking it out. And there's going to be like another little rim up here. A little bit taller. Actually, no, I think this is good enough. Yeah, so then someone can just like hop onto the zipline and it takes you all the way down over here. Which is pretty cool. And of course, it's going to be a little bit thinner. Ooh, a zipline. How are you going to make it work? Uh, there's a lot of ways to make it work. On Halo 4, all I had to do was just use one-way shields. So let's just experiment with that for a little bit. Uh, which piece will they use? Extras. Chromis joins, cameras and mags, scripting effects, decals, lighting. Or oh, was it on gameplay? Game modes, launches, lifts, game modifiers, teleporters, volumes, shields. There we go. And it will be a one-way shield. And it will just be something like this. So essentially what should happen, let me just see, quickly see if this works on Halo 5 or not. I hope it does. Ah! The manly screams. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of this, just very quickly see whether this works or not. Uh, what if I lower it down a little bit? What essentially should happen is the shield will cap you, capture you. Like it will try to f make you go higher. No, it's not gonna work. It has to work. It worked on Halo 5, uh, Halo 4, Halo Reach. Worked on them. This is not going to work, is it? Oh, wow. Okay, I, I need to figure, figure something else. Okay, let's do some experimentation over here. What will work and what will not? Yeah, definitely not a two way. Also, it can't be anything that you break, so. Hmm. Gravity modifiers. Volumes. They need to be invisible. Will this be enough? We'll see. I need a lot of them, but. Let me just quickly see whether this works or not. Oh, no, no one near enough. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. Tricky now, isn't it? What about bounces? With bounces, we don't really have much. Hmm. I know that's probably such an easy option for me to do. Oh, yeah, bounces work. Ayo, zip line, lads. <laughs> uh, I need a lot of them, but. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 Oop. There we go. So I need to just note it down. I need to use bounces for the zip line. And then you can, of course. The cool thing about the zip lines is that it will allow you to shoot people down. Go out just lights. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. And then you'll be able to... Can I thrust it backwards? Oh, okay, I can't have that. <laughs> people are able to thrust it back. That would be interesting. I think all I have to do then... Just to prevent people from... thrusting forth... So yeah, there will be an initial bouncer, and then like every couple of things, so people just can't, uh, what do you call it, thrust the back and go upwards on the zipline, so there'll be just something like this. I'll make it go all the way down, and we'll see whether this works or not. Because that's what made this map really stand out for me when I made it, like... Was one of my favorite maps that I ever made. It's just the fact that I had a zip plane. Alright, it kinda works. You can still slow down quite a bit. 
Hmm. All right then. What if? What if? Just because I can. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly what's coming. What if the initial f uh, burst will be enough to launch someone forward hard enough? I'm stuck. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Arc height. Oh, arc height now. Zero? Horizontal? No, it won't be horizontal. It'll be vertical, I believe. Yeah, vertical. So I need to go the opposite way. Gravity slides in one direction. I think I already have it figured out, dude. But we'll see. Now, why do I get stuck on it? Where is this? Why are you so awkward? <laughs> Alright, you're, you're very annoying. Okay, I'm not going to be using you anytime soon. Gravity slides have one direction and they're thin enough so you don't have to giant zip line. They also come in a really long length too. Uh, what's a gravity slide, you say? That'd be on gameplay, wouldn't them. Oh yeah, I remember them. Good call. I completely forgot they exist. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Thanks, dude. Because I was really confused when you said the gravity slides. I didn't really think what they were. <laughs> okay, so now I don't have to use those things at the sides. Okay. Saved a few pieces right there. Yeah, and you can't thrust the backwards now. Ah, the slide just hit you. See you, Okay, that's awesome. And then, of course, there will be a thing to prevent you from going all the way down and killing yourself with it. Once again, a placeholder. <laughs> Yeah, this is awesome. Thanks for the suggestion. And the uh, actual zip line will start a little bit further up. I think it'll be like more like around here, I believe. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I've got a slide to work now. <laughs> and then this building will definitely be something else too. So there'll be a sight line block over here. Let me just jot down that, that down as well. So there'll be two crates right there, and then a crate on the other boat. Mark it down with a pencil. Kind of remove this now. And if I just select all, select this, then this, 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 and this. And I'll just create a group. Just so I can move it whenever I want to. Or, or remove everything at once, because I'll definitely make this look a little bit nicer. This is not gonna be the actual zipline. This looks horrible. It's horrible, horrible. But over there. Hmm. How do I do this now? That's the question. What is your favorite forge canvas to use and your least favorite? Uh, my most favorite is Alpine, and the only reason for that is because Alpine has never, well, it has failed me in the past, but <laughs> uh, for example, let's say Tidal. Tidal might, well, before used to be my least favorite, because there's just no terrain. You can't use any terrain. Glacier is very fun, and then you have uh, Alpine, they have all this terrain, which is very nice. But then you have Parallax, but Parallax, Parallax might be my actually my least favorite in it, yeah. I'll say Parallax, you know, 
Because at least Taidu has water. And Parallax has nothing. There's just no ground. It's just thin air. You have to make the whole map out of like, terrain pieces and stuff. There's nothing that has Parallax stand out from all the other maps. Other than just not having anything. <laughs> uh, what's going on over here? Ugh. There we go. Okay, so if I have a little bit of an elevation over here, I'll throw this one upwards a little bit like so. Maybe something like this. And then I definitely want this to go a little bit further, maybe something like this. And shove down a magnet. So it's not too long of a walk. Might have some kind of like a side route over here. <gasps> so basically this is going to be like a route that leads around the back side of the whole structure or the whole tower where the zipline is going to be on top of. So basically yeah, there's going to be this huge tower over here. Well not really a huge tower. I'm going to make it seem huge though. And then maybe a few more stairs, so then this will kind of go around and connect to this. I really want to make this section like a natural section. Use a lot of, uh, what do you call it, natural pieces, so you have all of those fungus and whatnot. So yeah, all of those, definitely want to use the corals, the kelp. Carl, stay in a house, Carl. Um, Walking Dead is coming out soon as well. I think it's October, the new season. I forgot what season it is, but <laughs> the new season. There's so many Walking Dead seasons now. And this is just guesswork, I'm not entirely sure. Also, another big thing. Um, what makes this map really... What is going to make this map really fun is the fact that it has a teleporter. So basically it's going to be a teleporter on this boat over here. And the teleporter is going to bring you all the way up. It's going to be like a huge cylinder tower. Once once again, I'm going to do a placeholder a cylinder. Probably be a 32 by 32. See how... Actually, it needs to be bigger than that, doesn't it? How big is this? This might be big enough. I want it to be further away from the bridge, it's not going to overlap the bridge. Hmm. Maybe like right in the middle right here. And it's going to be a lot further out. And it's going to be touching the water. Maybe a little bit taller still. Hmm. Something along those lines. So there's going to be a big tower over here. And that's where the receiver for the teleport is going to be, so once again. I think they're in gameplay at teleporters. So there's going to be this receiver over here. And a sender on the boat right here. Turn around, so now... Oh, wrong way! <laughs> So I guess it's going to be, have to be like this. There we go, yeah. And there's going to be this big bridge that basically leads all the way down to the uh, big tower. Which I hope will be a very cool thing. There's going to be a broken bridge as well. And that's another thing. So the bridge will break halfway through and hopefully this natural section over here is go like it's going to go down to this natural section. And you can jump from here to both sides. And this is not going to be a holdout, there's going to be a soft kill in this area, I assume. Basically, this map is just going to have a lot of random things that you'd not see on an infection map. It's meant to be more of a less realistic map, I guess you could say. More of a, a fun map. Still with senses of re realism, but... Like, what map has a zipline? Let's say... <laughs> no map has a zipline, no. Ziplines are cool, though. Very cool. Made quite a bit of progress, I can't lie. 
Back on Halo 4, this map would have been finished. Halo 4 was so easy. You could make a map in two hours and be done and over with it. <laughs> Then this nitro section over here, and there's gonna be a few more stairs that lead you all the way up there. But yeah, basically, I need to build a proper building up here, something that will occupy the people that are playing this map for long enough for them to like go up there, then go up that back down. And even this, this might be pulled back a little bit because you think about it, you look at this, this is tiny, so so tiny, t uh, smaller than Joe's side. So I might even, yeah, definitely going to have to add some kind of a section to where this plateau is sitting right now. This tower is going to go all the way across. I might do something around here too. My biggest concern at the moment is this boat. This boat needs to stay. This boat might be bigger. We'll probably increase the size of this boat and make it a little bit more accessible from different sides maybe. And of course, it's kind of obvious why the zombies will spawn on top of the the big tower. Maybe right next to the zipline, so the zombie can just start ziplining down on them and get them. That would be so cool. That would be amazing. Yeah, I should definitely do that. I, what's the time? Got about seven more minutes. Seven more minutes uh, until I should end the stream. Because I like to keep them two hours long. And the good thing about this YouTube thing is that... There's a timer on it, there's an actual timer, which is very nice. I enjoy myself some timers. And then off of here, so there's going to be this route over there. And off of here. I think I would like... Hmm. Maybe a bit of a... Bigger piece. As I remember, I had to use 4 by 4s back in the Halo 4. Oh my god, the struggles were real. Actually, might be able to use this thing instead of this. Let's get rid of that. That would definitely conserve a lot of pieces. Might look a little bit bland by itself for now, but... And then I can get rid of this, yeah. Once again. I don't tell you... Oh, actually, wait. Hmm. And this could stay... Yeah, this looks really nice. Oh no! Oh, this is not good. Uh, what did I do? How did this happen? No, 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 no. Alright. So if I pull this back... So what was the issue over here then? Just a little bit of water. Uh, this, this is fine to be honest. And this, all I'd have to do over here, pull this around like that, and there we go. And of course, there's going to be this gap over here, which very easily fixable. Let's do this. All right then. And then another right over there. Jump up here. I need to fix that so you can climb over on top of it. Probably kind of like a block over here of some sorts. And then a stairway that ends up going to the tower. And I think that'll be it. Oh yeah, then of course I had this and this. Yeah, the... But that'll be it for the tower. For this section at least. A lot of complicated stairways might be making their way up here. <laughs> I think that would be decent size. Decent size enough. 
Also, I wonder what weapon I want to use because I, I want to put on this map. And it's definitely gonna be like the your everyday saw, your everyday sniper rifle, and all of that. Tier three. Because I always wanted to have like a very fun weapon to use on an infection map. The blaze of glory. <laughs> that that would be amazing. The oath sworn. Maybe like an, a more advanced Hydra launcher, the one that does not allow you, uh, you, where you don't have to zoom in. The appetite for destruction is kind of boring, or the rocket launchers, just have a normal rocket launcher already. A lot of people would go for the non thing, wouldn't they? <laughs> but to be honest, there's no point of having it. Whiplash was always an interesting choice for me, but I feel like that would be even more overpowered than Arclight. Maybe, maybe a spinal laser. Can you imagine? Imagine like a bunch of people approach you and you just do both this, like it goes through everyone. Everyone in front of you. Hmm. I'm gonna write it down actually. And game. For the fun weapons. And then you have the pro pipe. How would the pro pipe work? Hmm, I think don't think it will work very well. I mean, it'll still be a fun weapon. Maybe some kind of a covenant weapon. Storm rifle, but the storm rifles don't make sense. Like, the, co <laughs> the covenant weapons don't make sense on the faction maps. I think Hellfire is, like, the only uh, map that has a covenant weapon on it. The Vo Oh, you know, the Void Stone Black Friday, that is it. Oh, you don't like the Pro Pipe? <laughs> well, I don't like the Void Stone Black Friday. Still... Don't have the killing there with it. I guess I go as a kill trusty. Should not allow humans to be able to pick up the sword. Definitely don't want them to have the prophet's bane. And triple has added a talent of the lost for his map. A beam rifle. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> nah. It's the same as a sniper rifle, really. Few rod and plasma caster. Plasma caster. There's no question. There's there's no way I can add them. Maybe a different uh, bow action. Bow action, you know, bow shot. Oh yeah, because this shoots double, doesn't it? Hmm. Might be a very valuable weapon. Hmm. Yeah. Or a suppressor raises edge. What does raises edge do? Just shoots faster the longer you hold the trigger. He live on YouTube now, he sneaky bastard. Mercy, you made it to the last minute of the stream. Well, I'll go through all the weapons first and then. <laughs> the reason I'm not doing it on Twitch anymore is because, well, as you can tell, Twitch doesn't work for you and doesn't work for me either. <laughs> Light rifle. My voice keeps cutting out on Twitch now. It's just my capture card and Twitch do not go very well. Do you think Razor's Edge really will be that OP? Does it really kill that quick? <laughs> I, I can't think of it being more OP than a standard rocket launcher as the last man. Maybe because, maybe, maybe when you're not the last man, yeah. Because I'm thinking of like last man weapons right now, I'm not reconsidering the people's reactions to when they see like this weapon and you just pick it up and start killing the two zombies that are in the game. Two alphas, yeah. <laughs> that might be bad. The end game definitely feels cool. End game will definitely be a cool weapon to add. Then you have all the turrets. Hmm. A chain turret. George's chain gun turret. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I think someone added that on... Uh, who was it? I think Mr. Pokerfile added that onto his map. What was the map? No no Man's Land? I don't, I don't remember the name of the map. But... Assault Cannon. Oh, I remember these. A weapon that I was always always excited about. But oh, this is a burst. That's interesting. Uh, Mercy, what are you doing? I am just. Well, I was building a forge map until I got very distracted by other random weapons. I really want to think of a very fun weapon to use on uh, this infection map. That would be cool to have, like not only as a last man standing, but also just as. Um, 
just in that casual player when you pick up a weapon. Like, you have the voice talent on Black Friday, you have Arclight on Power Installation in Studio. Oh, that weapon respawned. I think it'll be very fun to have another... Hmm. What about this? What about this? Can I drop this? There we go. Hmm, scatter shot. Scatter shot, scatter shot, scatter shot. Do I want you? Hmm. I don't know. I will see. Uh, currently is the end game for me. I think end uh, endgame is the most fun weapon that I might think of playing on. But yeah, I figured out things to you guys. I figured out uh, the zipline. The zipline will work perfectly fine now. Just pretty cool. You can shoot down on zombies as you're going down on a zipline. Turn around and start shooting them in the back as well. And a zombie can take the zipline as well, which is freaking awesome. Why can't I clamber this? It's so annoying. I'll fix that later. Definitely have to allow clambering on every single goddamn object. This is why I don't build maps. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun, Mercy. It's very fun. Well, the only progress I've really done today was just added the crates, like just cover for the infected. Make made this building over here. That's pretty much it. And made the zipline, yeah. Which I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make look much better than this. But yeah, it's it's coming along. It's coming along. Made some decent progress. I'm gonna do some progress off stream as well, and we'll see how much I make <laughs> since. Hopefully, by the next time I start streaming, I'm gonna have a proper proper plan of what to do in this area, in the area at the back over here. And yeah, after that, after that, start doing tests. I also really want to add some of these things over here. But I don't think that, I think that would be too much to be honest, I don't want to add too much detail, it's not like... There's one theme on there, let's just keep it to one theme, definitely want to keep all of these. At least some plantations. Yeah, so let me just remove this before I start using it. <laughs> Might add one of you as well, some easter eggs. What was your name again? Kevin! Kevin the Crab. I never understood what this thing is. Like, is it just something to prevent the crab from... Like grabbing a knife and killing you? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, I think that'll be it for the stream. We are two hours and four minutes into it. I'll try my best to stream again on Tuesday. I'll probably definitely be streaming on YouTube now rather than on Elgato because Elgato just really hates me and freaking ca uh, crashes all the time as well. It hasn't crashed a single time when I was doing it on uh, YouTube, which is cool. So, yeah, Twitch no more. I'll be doing this on here. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll probably be streaming on Tuesday again, hopefully on the uh, same time as all well, 8 o'clock, and I'll see you guys then. So I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye. <laughs> Solid three minutes.